The judges didn't know they were going to taste French wines as well. Only about 15 days before the tasting happened, the wines had come over with a group of visiting uh, winemakers and if they hadn't brought the wines hand carried, 24 bottles of wine, 20 people, I would have never gotten them into France because they, I was allowed to bring one bottle. And about a couple of weeks before the tasting was due to happen, I realized that only one of the judges over de Valen would have ever tasted California wine before. And so I decided the only way I could get the recognition I wanted, if they were worthy of recognition, was to do a blind tasting with the benchmarks from France. So against the Cabernet Sauvignons, I chose the best wines from my shop, uh, Mouton Rostil, Aubryon, Le Velasquez, Montrose, from similar vintages, and against the Chardonnays, I chose Bata Marache, Puligny Marache, Premier Cru, Mercer Premier Cru, and Bern Clos de Mouche. So I couldn't have chosen a better selection. And so when the judges appeared, when we began at the Intercontinental Hotel on May the 24th, I welcomed the judges and I said, you've come to taste California wine, and I decided to change the rules a bit, and I've introduced some benchmark French wines, and I'd like you to taste the wines blind. Do you agree? And had they said no, I would have had to reverse it, but they, of course they said, pas de problème. <laughs> so, and then the rest is history. The quality of California wines are fruit forward. And that, frankly, is what people want to drink. They want to taste fruit forward wines. All wine is a complete pyramid, you know, with the super, super top at the top, but a small amount of them, and then a large base of everyday wines. And California has that. You've got the entire pyramid. The strength in California is that it's a fantastic brand. And France or Italy, which are fantastic countries, and people will think of French cuisine, people will think of the beautiful Italian ladies, all that kind of stuff. It's not as strong an individual brand as California. So for whatever people think California, it could be Hollywood, it could be the sun, it could be the surf, it could be San Francisco. Uh, it, it's a very strong brand. And I think the judgment of Paris, it's an event which won't go away. You know, the bottles of Stag Steve and Montalena are in the Smithsonian Institute, and, and Congress has decreed that May 24th will be known as an important date in American history. When Patricia and I held that tasting, we wanted to draw attention to the quality of wines being made in California. I never thought it would work out like that. We just would have been happy with maybe a second and a fifth, or maybe even a third and a sixth, something like that. But it was a win situation all around. It put California on the map, it woke up the French, it got wines talked about. The fact that Patricia and I put it was just an idea. We'd had an idea and we went ahead with our, our ideas and it really was just fantastic. So no one could be more happy about it than me.